Hello guys and welcome to this series of web concepts and in today's video we are going to look into two cookie attributes that are domain cookie attribute and path cookie attribute. So let's begin. First of all let's take a quick recap. A cookie is a piece of data that is sent from server to the client and stored in the client browser. Each cookie along with the key value pair contains some additional information that are known as the cookie attributes. The cookie attributes helps a browser on deciding how the cookie should be used based on the server preferences or based on how the server wants the browser to use the cookie. Now in this video we will be discussing about the two cookie attributes that is domain and the path. These domain and path together define the scope of a cookie. For instance if I ask you a question how does a browser knows that for which request which cookies need to be attached then what will be the answer how the browser knows that for this particular request i need to attach this cookie or for this particular request or some other request i need to attach some other cookies so this decision factor by the browser whether to attach a certain cookie in a request or not is defined by the domain and the path cookie attributes together now note that during the decision if the domain criteria is passed only then the path criteria will be checked. So first the domain criteria will be checked and if it is passed then it will go for the path check and if both domain and path are up to the mark then the cookie will be attached to the request. Now let's look into both of these along with some example. First of all we have the domain cookie attribute which defines the domains to which that particular cookie can be sent to in a request. Now about the domain cookie attribute there could be two case scenarios. In the first case the server has set a particular domain in the response. So domain cookie attribute has been used in the cookie while in the second case the server has not given anything in the domain attribute. So domain attribute is not being used. Now there are some minor difference when these things happen. In the case one when the domain attribute is set then the cookie will be eligible to be sent to that particular domain and along with all the other subdomains. But in the later case when the domain is not set then by default the cookie will be sent to the original domain or the domain who is setting up the cookie. Now remember two important points with respect to the domain cookie attribute. The first point is that the server cannot set the domain which is pointing to the another domain. For example if the server is abc.com then it cannot set the cookie with the domain value as xyz.com. Now one thing to note here is that you can set the cookie from the subdomain to the main domain. For example let's say you are making the request to xyz.abc.com then in the response you can set the cookie with the domain value as the abc.com. So while the request is for subdomain the server can set the cookie for the main domain but vice versa is not allowed. For example let's say you are making the request for abc.com. Now in the response if it is written as domain equals to xyz.abc.com then the browser will reject that cookie. Now point number two that in the case two when the domain is not set then in some old browser like old edge browsers the cookie will be included for the subdomains as well irrespective of whether the domain is set or not. So in some old browser the cookie will be applicable for the domain as well as its subdomain as well. Now let's take some example to understand this concept. In the first case let's say our request is being sent to abc.com and in the response the server has set the cookie with the domain cookie attribute with the value as abc.com. Now let's say the after some time the request is being sent to the xyz.abc.com. So in this particular case our first check is passed because xyz.abc.com is the subdomain of abc.com. Now let's say the request has been sent to xyz.com. Now xyz.com is not the subdomain of abc.com. So that is why this criteria will be filled and the cookie will not pass the first filter that is domain check. Now let's say the third request is abc.com itself. So since the domains are same then the cookie will be eligible for the send or the first domain check is passed. Now one more thing sometime in domain cookie attribute 
you will see that instead of writing as abc.com there will be written as dot abc.com so you don't need to worry about this additional dot this is basically used for the compatibility by the servers for the old browsers so for us abc.com is same as the dot abc.com now let's see another example again the request is abc.com but in the response the set cookie has only set the cookie key and the value but it is, has not set the domain cookie attribute so in this case if the request is being sent to x.abc.com then the first filter that is the domain check will be failed because the domain has not been set so the subdomains will not be eligible for sending the cookie and x.abc.com is the subdomain of abc.com now if the request is towards xyz.com then since the domains are different altogether the request will not be eligible to be sent to the request now in the third case let's say we are making the request to abc.com in this case the first filter that is the domain check filter will be passed the reason is that the default domain cookie attribute is set to the main domain itself so our main domain was abc.com and since both are same the cookie will pass the first filter all right so after the first check the browser will check the path cookie attribute so what exactly it is the path cookie attribute defines a path that if it is included in the url path of a request then the cookie will be sent to the request to understand it let's take some example assuming the domain check has been passed successfully now consider that we had made a request to xyz.com which has set a cookie with the key value as the id equals to 5296 and the path as the slash abc now let's say that we are making the request to the slash as the url path of the request so in this particular case since slash abc is not included in the slash that is why that particular cookie will not be attached to the request now let's say we are making the request to slash abc slash cde now the slash abc is present in the into the path of the request so that is why cookie will be eligible to be sent to the request now in the third case let's say the request is the slash cde now again slash abc is not present in the cde so that is why cookie will not be attached to the request now think about this one if the request is slash cde slash abc so in this particular case what will happen now you need to note that in the cookie path attribute it has been set from the slash abc slash first slash is basically defining the root or the top level so it is from slash abc and whatever could be included inside it but in our request it is slash cde slash abc so even though it looks like the slash abc is there but it is not correct slash abc means that it is from the root but slash cde slash abc means that slash abc is inside the slash cde which is making it incorrect so the cookie will not be sent to the request right so always see the entire path and the entire path is taken from the root itself right now in certain case scenarios what will happen if the path is not set by the server so during that time the default value of the path cookie attribute will be the url path that is setting the cookie for example i am making the request get slash abc slash cde and in the response the path is not set then by default the path will be set with the value as slash abc slash cde because this is the path which was requested and which created the cookie so by default whatever is the path being used during the creation of the cookie that path will be used by default so this is how the browser will know for a particular request whether to include that cookie in the request or not so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next video